Well, the electricity related um, greenhouse gas policies are ones that fall into two categories. Uh, one category is the uh, desire to convert all electricity generation in the world from uh, coal and natural gas uh, and oil where it's used to, to um, renewable energy sources like wind and solar and biomass. The other category is the uh, effort to basically electrify the, the entire economy so that uh, you would, we would move from a situation in which about 20% of the world's uh, energy uses is provided by electricity to one in which 100% of the world's uh, power requirements is met by electricity. Um, when you take those two elements together um, and you uh, take into account that the cost of wind and solar energy um, as on a system-wide basis are still very high. Uh, it means that uh, the world will have to multiply its available electricity generation, transmission, and distribution uh, capacity uh, by uh, a factor of at least three. Okay, now that, in, in just to use uh, the province of Ontario as one example, um, the measures that were taken there to uh, increase the use of um, it, greenhouse gas, sorry, uh, greenhouse gas emission-free sources, if you will, wind and solar, uh, have, have led to the doubling of electricity rates for consumers over the path, over the course of the past decade. And um, the uh, government of Ontario is now exploring the, the option of completely eliminating the use of natural gas for electricity generation. It only represents about 6% of the emissions from the electricity generation sector, and the cost of it will be several billion dollars added to, to what consumers have to pay. The, uh, the fundamental problem with, with wind and solar energy is, the, is that they are intermittent energy sources, and therefore uh, when they're not available because the sun is not shining or it's, or it's, or it's dark outside or, or the wind's not blowing or the seasons change, uh, they have to be backed up by reliable uh, energy sources, and typically meaning um, coal or natural gas facilities. And um, when that's not available, then you have to have um, electricity storage systems. Um, all of those things tend to multiply the cost to consumers uh, of electricity and uh, potentially to raise the cost of electricity to many times what is now the case. Um, the result of that in, in, in Ontario and, and, and I'm sure uh, in other provinces is that uh, we're driving industry out. Uh, in, the, in Ontario, uh, following the uh, increases in electricity uh, prices, uh, there was a loss of about 75,000 industrial jobs.